response team. Indian Computer Response Team is the uh, national nodal agency for responding to cybersecurity incidents in uh, the country. Uh, this webcast is regarding a critical alert we have issued on uh, Saturday regarding a ransomware that is a kind of malware that is uh, predicted to be spreading widely uh, across the globe. Ransomware is a uh, malware that encrypts contents of infected systems and demands payment in uh, bitcoins. So far, this uh, impact of this ransomware has been reported is some of the hospitals in uh, England have been hit. Uh, some of the hospitals in England have been uh, hit. And uh, Russia, Spain, Frankfurt, USA and uh, academic institution China have been affected by this uh, ransomware. Mm -hmm. Very few reports are uh, yes. reported from uh, our country uh, as well. So how it is uh, spreading? This particular malware or uh, ransomware spreads to the Windows systems by exploiting a vulnerability in the Windows systems, which is in the server message block uh, component which is normally used to uh, do the network sharing and uh, LAN on the uh, network. And uh, there are two key components in this uh, particular malware. There is a warm part, which used to uh, propagate across the network, and ransomware package. This exploit is named as Eternal Blue by the various uh, IDS and IPS uh, solutions. And the initial ransom that has been reported is uh, being asked as uh, 300 US dollars, and uh, later on it increases to 600 US dollars in Bitcoin. So what, as a user or as an organization, what you see if your system is infected, this screenshot will be shown on the uh, computer's uh, screen, and uh, this is being this message being displayed by the malware or uh, ransomware, and it advises how to recover your files. So this displays this wallpaper as well, and it says that uh, if you see this test but don't see the one decryptor window, then your uh, antivirus is removed the decrypt software or you deleted it from uh, your computer. And if you need your files from uh, files, you have to uh, run the decrypt software. This message is to scare the user that his data is encrypted and lost. And uh, by scaring the users, the attackers want to collect money from the user. And there is also a file named please read me dot text, which is dropped uh, on the infected system. And it has certain uh, questions. What is wrong with my files? And uh, what should I do? And uh, drop password file and all those things. So you are cautioned to not to run these files again uh, further when you see the infected system. And this malware also drops uh, user manuals in different languages, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian. English. So our systems in India are using English uh, supported versions. So you will see most probably the English version of the files. And the ransomware targets the following extensions. Uh, uh, encrypts the files with the uh, following extensions. So your files, once you are infected, it will be uh, targeted. And these targeted files will be encrypted with the extension .wcry. So if you see here, the Word documents and PDF files, presentations, PDFs, RAR files, it's all are targeted by this malware. And uh, the malware also targets common used Office extensions, less common and national specific Office formats, such as uh, .odt, archives and media files, emails, .eml, .msg, .pst files, database files, .sql, .dbf, dot myd files, developer source code project files where many developers may be using these extensions and uh, storing their files. And encryption keys and certificates are also encrypted with this particular ransomware and graphic designers uh, files and virtual machine files. And for technically uh, sound users, this is the uh, files that are dropped in uh, program data, and the file name of uh, the for malware is task schedule.exe. 
and in the C Windows folder, the file name ms svc exe and task sche.exe are dropped. And the ransomware is granting full access by using uh, following commands. And there is a batch file that is dropped uh, to execute certain functions of the malware to execute a visual basis script. Now the most important thing, what you should do to prevent the ransomware. Please note this point that once a computer is encrypted by this ransomware, it is very difficult to decrypt the files because the private keys that are required to decrypt the ransomware are not available as of now. And the most important thing all users and administrators has to take is determine the version of your Windows systems and apply the patches as mentioned in the Microsoft Security Bulletin MS17010. This bulletin has been released on March 15 and uh, information regarding this bulletin and vulnerability notes have been issued by certain in March uh, on March 2017 uh, itself. So this uh, bulletin needs to be seen by the users and the patches which are mentioned in this bulletin for appropriate Windows versions need to be applied. And it may also be noted that Many of the users are using unsupported uh, versions, uh, Windows XP, Server 2003, etc. These are not supported by Microsoft anymore, so regular patches are not available. So users are encouraged to upgrade their systems uh, to prevent such threats. Currently, for this particular uh, malware is affecting uh, all these older unsupported versions also. And you may be using these systems at homes and organizations. So you are required to update appropriate patches for your version that you are using by going to this particular link. Both these uh, <coughs> URLs have been published on our advisory that is uh, published on www.cert-in.org.in as well as the Cyber Swachita Kendra website. Nevertheless, another important thing to prevent or counter ransomware threat particularly is because it is targeting the, your in critical data and you may be doing uh, very vital data on your systems as an individuals, as an organizations. It is always advised to take backup of uh, your systems and keep it offline. And uh, organizations using critical services need to take backup of the uh, critical data regularly so that even if uh, some computer is uh, crashed down or infected by this ransomware, you can restore the critical data from your trusted backups. Please note this point also that if you have applied these particular patches to your Windows systems, you are protected from this particular malware from propagating. But if as an organization or a user, if this particular uh, uh, thing is uh, not uh, available, that is, you are unable to apply the patch, you are advised to isolate the system from network first, download the patches uh, to a, a CD and uh, or pen drive, and apply it to the standalone system first, the patch, and then only you connect to the network. Otherwise, there is a highly chance that the system will be infected. And you should also note this point that this malware spreads very uh, quickly through the LAN because it is exploiting vulnerability in SMB. Further, the enterprises should also block UDP port 137, 138, 139, and uh, TCP port 139 and uh, TCP port 445 at the perimeter. This is generally done as a best practice by the enterprises. If you have not done that, you are advised to do that immediately. And uh, at the user level, users should disable protocol SMB v1. The guidance has been given on the, our website. So you go to our website and see the guidance how to disable that. There is a specific uh, article of Microsoft to which advises to disable SMB version 1 protocol on Windows systems. So in general, to prevent these threats, because it is very difficult to recover the data once you are infected with such threats, most important thing is you deploy appropriate antivirus protection, maintain updated antivirus on your uh, system, and uh, you also have to do block the uh, spam at uh, your uh, mailbox, uh, use appropriate mail filters. Even if you receive uh, some mails from uh, unsolicited emails, uh, even if you uh, know those people who are sending the uh, contact list, you are in the trusted contact list, never click on those uh, attachments for those emails and never click on any URL contained in the such unsolicited email because that will contain, that may contain uh, a malware embedded in the attachment. 
and always perform regular backups of all critical information to limit the impact of the data or system loss and to help expedite the recovery process so as a user you should always uh, do the important uh, thing uh, you should keep in mind is backup your data and keep it offline which is not uh, connected to the internet another most important thing is uh, the malware files come through uh, attachments which are uh, embedded as a macros so disable macros in uh, microsoft office products guidelines are given on our website for enterprises very important things to note is implement the best practice at your mail server level the central policy framework uh, domain message authentication reporting and uh, confirmation dmarc standard and domain keys identified mail dkim for your domain which is the email validation system and designed to prevent spam by detecting email spoofing this email spoofing technique is used by most of the ransomware uh, ransomware uh, samples which uh, to successfully reach the corporate email boxes so you should be able to detect the spoofed mails which are coming from outside uh, to your corporate or enterprise and then uh, disable and drop it at the gateway itself another important best practices to the uh, enterprises and organizations are use appropriate application whitelisting uh, solutions uh, on the critical systems where only trusted applications and important application need to run and other untrusted uh, application and additional applications need not run and you can also implement uh, software restriction policies to block binaries running from app data program data and temp paths so that which will prevent uh, execution of malware uh, even after infection and enforce application whitelisting in all endpoint workstations also through appropriate solutions so that uh, the infections will not affect the endpoint workstations and deploy web and email filters on your network and configure these your perimeter devices to scan for known bad domains sources ip addresses block these before the receiving and downloading the messages and your all incoming emails and attachments and downloads on both host at the mail gateway should be scanned with a reputed uh, antivirus solution and this antivirus solution should be updated uh, regularly for this particular threat the wannacry ransomware threat detailed countermeasures best practices prevention tools indicators of compromise that is malicious ip addresses domains hash values of the files etc are and signatures rules that are to be deployed at intrusion detection systems and intrusion prevention systems and the rr rules are mentioned on our website this website can be accessed on www.cyberswachhatakendra.gov.in and this particular alert is visible here you may also note that <clears throat> we have security tools that are freely available on this particular website you can go to security tools section and use those tools to prevent uh, infections and secure your systems and currently we have received uh, around 7 uh, variants of this particular uh, ransomware and detection has been aided on the uh, free botnet removal tool which is hosted on this particular websites so users are encouraged to visit our website and use this tool to remove infections in general also this particular tool detects many of the uh, prevalent botnet families and removes so users are encouraged to visit this website use the free tool section security tool section and download the tool and use the tool to remove the bots and malware from your systems so what should you do if you are by the way infected by the uh, wanna crypt ransomware and the screen is shown as infected immediately isolate the system from network because it will prevent uh, propagation of this malware to the other uh, network uh, computers within the lan and run cleanup tools mentioned on our website to disinfect the same before running these tools prevent data even if it is encrypted because sometimes researchers find the uh, decryption methodologies they, it will take some time to work on that so don't throw away the data even if it is encrypted store the data somewhere so that when decryption tools are available you can recover the data and do not pay the ransom that will encourage the criminals to do such more attacks report incident to certain and the local law enforcement agencies so that we can work on that for any further questions you can send email to incident at crt-in.org.in and you can also call you can also call on our uh, toll free number 18001149491 
and you can also send fax to 18001169699 and you users and organizations are uh, encouraged to regularly visit the website www.cert-in.org.in website for latest security threats and alerts and updated alerts on this particular ransomware as well and www.cyberfachtakendra.gov.in website to download free malware botnet removal tools <coughs> and clean your systems thank you i hope that has given enough information about this particular threats and more updates will be available on our advisories on our website so uh, please keep visiting these websites and take actions as suggested and report incidents on uh, phone or on phone or email id as mentioned here thank you